da 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 If you decide to live here, you'll get the greenery of the countryside and the amenities of urban life. It's the best of both worlds, really. This week is an idioms lesson, and I'm going to teach you the idiom, the best of both worlds, which is combining two qualities that are usually separate situations, where one can enjoy the benefits of both different opportunities. The idiom, the best of both worlds, Although we don't know exactly where this expression comes from, it does have religious undertones, talking about life and the afterlife. These are contrasting ideas, and to have the best in both of these places is to show you are successful. In the Bible, there's a reference that a man who does good deeds is going to get a prize or a reward both in this life and also and in heaven, thus getting the best of both worlds. Let me give you a few more examples of how to use the best of both worlds. You can get this item for cheap, but you'll have to compromise on quality. You can't have the best of both worlds. My cousin is a research student for a university, so he gets the freedom of a student, but the privileges of a professor. He has the best of both worlds. Working from home is a huge plus. You have the luxury of staying at your own home, and you get the benefits of having a job. It's really the best of both worlds. I got a deal that let me stay in five-star luxury, but paying three-star prices. I'm getting the best of both worlds on my vacation. This guy had the best of both worlds until his wife found out that he was spending his day at the video arcade when he was supposed to be at work. Video arcade? Do we still have those? Oh man, I miss video arcades. Anyway, that is the idiom, the best of both worlds. And I want to see how you can use it in an example in the comments below. I'll look forward to your sentences. Bye-bye.